It's not hard to understand why one half of the city traffic deaths and one fourth of all traffic accidents happen at intersections. Not when you realize how many two-car crash situations are staring you in the face as you approach this corner. If you go straight through, there are five different accidents you might have. Two from the left, two from the right, making four separate possibilities coming at you from the sides, plus the chance of a head-on crash with that left turner. If you turn right or left, you have opportunities for two more separate accidents. The same possibilities face each driver in this intersection. The percentages are on the side of a collision, unless every driver does everything right. But a basic principle of defensive driving tells us never to expect every driver to do everything right. That piece of colored glass up there has the law behind it, but it can't stop a car. It can't physically prevent a willful driver from going past it. The green light is simply an invitation to proceed, provided everything that you could collide with is safely out of your path. For example, suppose you are timing the lights very shrewdly and you are able to keep rolling as a red light turns to green. When a car flashes at you from the right, seemingly out of nowhere. Here's that accident the way the experts look at it. The way you couldn't see it from the driver's seat there in the white car. The brown car on your right blocked your vision just enough. The other driver saw his light change. He went into the intersection on the red, which is, of course, against the law. But he did it. You could have prevented the accident. As a defensive driver, you are expected to be ready to cope with out-of-bounds behavior in traffic. No matter what the drivers around you do, you must protect yourself. It's your responsibility to make sure the intersection is clear. The defensive driver does not try to squeeze some special advantage out of a light change. He obeys the lights strictly according to law. He also makes sure he can see both ways as he approaches an intersection. He checks carefully to the left and to the right to be certain no one is crossing against the lights. The law says that a driver stopping at a stop sign must then yield the right of way to any vehicle approaching on the crossroad when it is close enough to constitute an immediate hazard. To a driver afflicted with impatience, that may be a matter of snap judgment. Look at the situation again as the seasoned defensive driver would. The defense for all intersections is never assume. Be prepared for rudeness carelessness or stupidity and let him get away with it because that is what you do to prevent an accident. Learn to anticipate protected streets. You might have your vision obscured by foliage or an obstruction or by the sun in such a way that you could actually miss seeing a traffic light or stop sign at an intersection. It's not a bad idea mentally to approach every corner as if the cross traffic had the right of way. An intersection is a place where other drivers make turns and that means danger. The left turner is always a hazard, but some drivers can make the right turn very dangerous. The defensive driver must always be ready for anything. Stopping distance. A subject many drivers still have to study harder is important at intersections because of the visibility problem. To stop in time to avoid an accident at 50 miles an hour, you must see cross traffic at least 243 feet away, about a twentieth of a mile. And at 40 miles an hour, unless you can see cross traffic at least 149 feet away, 
you can't stop in time to avoid a collision with a car moving into the intersection. If your view is blocked until you are within 88 feet of the corner, then you can't go faster than 30 miles an hour and avoid a crash. Even at 15 or 20 miles an hour, before the average driver can react and move his foot to the brake, a collision may be almost unavoidable. You can give yourself that little extra edge of protection by having your foot off the accelerator and just lightly resting on the brake pedal as you approach each intersection. The intersection is one of the great breeding grounds of accidents. And today, the problem is compounded. The entrances to many busy drive-in commercial establishments, shopping centers, and industrial plant parking lots are, in effect, putting intersections in the middle of the block. But you can overcome the hazards by learning and practicing the defenses that prevent accidents. Remember, the defensive driver willingly gives up the right-of-way for safety. But he is not a timid, overcautious person who confuses others by hesitation at the intersection or anywhere else. The defensive driver knows what he's doing and why. He lets others know what he's doing. And he goes safely and surely on his way. <laughs>